Hey guys, we're back to give you some fun craft ideas to help you tackle classroom boredom. These crafts will keep you from falling asleep on your desk. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to Crafty Hackers to be the first to see our videos. And give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Let's get started. Thread painting. Grab a plate and some craft paint. Pour some paint onto the plate and run a string through the paint. Use a paintbrush to coat the string with the different colors of paint. Then use the string to paint a design on your notebook. Close the notebook on the string, then pull it out from the bottom. See the mirror image of your painting. You can give one to a friend and keep one for yourself. You'll get a different design every time. You can hang these one-of-a-kind art pieces in your locker. Paper sheep. Grab a piece of paper and a ruler. Make a mark at each centimeter across the page, or you can mark every half inch. Use the ruler to draw lines one centimeter apart. Cut out your sections and stack the papers together. Cut them in half. Cut a small piece of double-sided tape and attach the two ends of the paper strip together. Do this with all the strips. Next, get another small piece of double-sided tape and attach the ends of the loops together. Keep adding more loop ends until you have this circular shape. Grab a straw and cut the end off. Using your double-sided tape, tape the end of the straw to the center of your creation. Now grab some black construction paper. Use a nail polish bottle or a tube of chapstick to stencil out a circle on the paper. Cut out the circle and tape it to the center of your sheep. Use a marker lid to stencil out a couple of tiny circles on a white piece of paper for the eyes. Add some pupils with a black marker. Stick them onto the black circle. Cut two little strips and fold them over to make little loops. Attach them as ears. Isn't he cute? Glitter glue art. Get a piece of black construction paper, some white glue and some loose glitter. Make a design on the paper with your glue. While the glue is still wet, sprinkle glitter over it. Use as many colors as you want. Shake off the excess glitter and check it out. Glitter art. Envelopes for secrets. Grab a colorful piece of paper and a ruler. Mark about 10 centimeters or five inches on the paper. Draw lines between the marks. Then mark it again going the other way. You're basically going to end up with four equal squares on your paper. Cut them out. Do this with as many colors of paper as you want. Now take a square and draw a line between two corners. Fold the other corners in to meet the line. Stick the points of the corner together with double-sided tape. Then fold the bottom corner up and stick it to the tape. Fold the top flap down. Cute little envelope. Make as many as you want. Attach them to the inside of your notebook like this. Write a secret note, fold it up, and hide it inside your envelope. Pencil case. Here's a fun one. Get a thick piece of construction paper in your favorite color. Use a ruler to measure and mark your paper, like this. Cut out slits in the paper using an X-Acto knife. Feed your pencils and markers through the slits. Punch a hole in the side and thread a string through it. Roll up your pencil case and tie it closed with your string. When you need a pencil or pen, they will be all ready for you. Map Notebook Got a boring notebook? Turn it from drab to fab with this fun craft idea. Take an old map and cut it into sections.
Using a glue stick, apply glue to the entire cover of your notebook. Glue your map sections onto the notebook in whatever design you like. Cut off the edges of the map pieces. Now you've got a cool notebook. 3D hand. Here's some fun optical illusion art you can try. First, trace your hand out onto a colored piece of paper. Draw lines across the paper, making a slight arc over the hand. Draw these equally spaced lines all the way up to the top. Darken some of the arcs to add dimension. Now add another color of marker lines in between the first lines you drew. Add another color. It looks 3D, right? Use an eraser around the fingers and check out your art from different angles. How awesome is that? Pencil crossbow. Gather four pencils together and wrap rubber bands around each end. Take another pencil and break it in half. Attach it to your pencil piece with the rubber band, like this. Clamp them together with a binder clip. Push a thumbtack into the eraser and string a rubber band across to the other end. Push a thumbtack into the other side of the pencil to secure your rubber band. Now grab the other half of your broken pencil and put it in the rubber band. Pull it back and launch it. Now you have a pencil crossbow. Paper flowers. Take a piece of construction paper and fold it in half. Mark one centimeter sections all the way across. Use the ruler to draw the lines. Mark a line about an inch from the open side of the paper. Cut your lines at the fold and stop when you get to the line. Do this all the way across. Roll it up and secure it with double-sided tape. Stencil out a circle with your nail polish bottle or a glue stick on a different colored piece of paper. Now use the stencil to make flower petals out of half circles all the way around. Cut out your flower. Cut out a different color circle and glue it to the front of your flower. Trim your flower however you want. Make a bunch of these. Tape them onto the green cylinder you made. Now they look like flower stems, don't they? See? It's a bouquet of flowers. Paper clip trick. Bend your paper clip so that it looks like this. Then when you clip it onto your papers, it looks like a heart. How sweet. Glitter pen. Grab a plate, a plastic cup with some water in it, and some white glue. Pour the glue into the water and stir. Take a pen, open it up, and take out the plastic ink tube. Pour the glue solution through the tube. The plate will catch it on the other side. Sprinkle loose glitter into the pen. It will stick to the sides. Put the ink back in and tighten the lid. Now you've got a sparkling pen. Cheat sheets. Need to study for a test? Pull a couple pieces of notebook paper out of your notebook and cut off the torn edges. Cut the papers into sections, and then cut those sections in half. Punch a couple of holes in the side of the note cards you just made. Get some paper clips. Wrap a paper clip around a pencil to shape it into a circle. You're going to use this as a little binder wire for your note cards. Feed them through the holes. Now get your study on. DIY Wallet Before you throw that candy packaging away, try this trick. Smooth it out and cut off the top to make an even opening. Use double-sided tape to fasten it together. Cut off the jagged edges on the bottom, but leave it sealed. Glue a zipper into the plastic package. Wipe the extra glue away. Fasten the other side of the zipper.
After the glue dries, you'll have a sweet DIY wallet. Now you've got a place for your coins and other accessories. Spinner. This is fun when you're super bored in class. Use a cup to mark a circle onto a piece of paper. Cut out the circle. Now trace a colored line around the edge with the highlighter. Bring the end of the line towards the center and start another color along the inside of the first circle. Repeat this with another color, and another, and another, and another, until you get to the center. Do the same on the back side. Use a pen to poke two holes in the center of the spinner. Thread two pieces of string through the holes. Now twist the string up on both sides. Once you've got the spinner wound up, pull the ends of the string and watch the spin. Pretty cool, right? And those are our fun craft ideas for when you're bored in school. If you like these crafts, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. See you later.